Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take your Zoom meeting and broadcast it onto Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube all at the same time so that you can get tons more eyeballs on your content and finally grow your brand in a big way. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video, YouTube strategy coach and founder of The Video Marketing School, where you can access premium training courses to grow your brand with video. Every week on this channel, we upload a brand new training designed specifically for you, so be sure to subscribe. Have you ever done a conference call or a webinar that was so good that you wish that you could have invited more people or broadcast it to all of your social platforms at the same time? Or maybe you just wanna do one Zoom call, but you want people to be able to access it on YouTube, Facebook Live, or even LinkedIn. Look, everybody is using Zoom nowadays, but you can take your Zoom call to the next level. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today so that you get more eyeballs on your content and you're doing less work. So in today's training, I'm gonna walk you through the process of hosting a Zoom call and publicly broadcasting it to Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. So you'll not only get more eyeballs on your content, but you'll also have native links for each platform that you stream to. For example, when you restream onto YouTube, you'll now have a YouTube link that you can share in your email or through a text or other places on the web. But you'll also restream on Facebook and have a Facebook video that you can share into groups or do watch parties with. You know, sharing a YouTube link on Facebook is not very effective, so it's a good idea to have a Facebook native video. And the same is true for LinkedIn. With a LinkedIn stream, you have a native LinkedIn video which will get more views than a YouTube link pasted into LinkedIn and you can build your conversation on LinkedIn and your whole LinkedIn strategy around that video. See, sharing a YouTube video link on LinkedIn or Facebook isn't as effective as having native video on those platforms. So when you restream your Zoom call, you're getting native links on each individual platform. Brilliant. So the first thing we wanna do is enable your YouTube for live streaming and to do that, just visit your YouTube channel on a desktop and click on your profile icon in the upper right hand side of the page. When you do, you'll have a variety of options and you'll wanna scroll down to settings over here. Okay, now over on settings, I want you to notice one thing here. It's channel status and features. And when you click on channel status and features, you can see what features you have access to. Now, you're, there's probably a ton that you have and a ton that you don't have. What we're gonna work on right now is live streaming. So you're gonna wanna click on this tab right here and walk through the steps of enabling live streaming. Every YouTube account should be able to live stream from a desktop, from Zoom, for this tutorial. If you're not able to have access to that, please let me know in the comment section and we'll help you troubleshoot through it. Once you've enabled live streaming, then we're ready to take the next step. Now, in order to get your Zoom call, simulcast onto three different platforms, then we need to use this amazing tool called Restream. Restream is a multi-streaming broadcast tool that is super easy to use and eliminates your need to download any expensive, heavy software that's just gonna ruin your stream. Once you've set up your Restream, then you're gonna get access to a dashboard that looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the platforms or the channels that we wanna restream to first, okay? So that's gonna be our first move. So you'll click on the Add Channel button over here. Take a look at all the different platforms that Restream allows you to stream to. Now, it's important to notice that with Restream, you don't have to have like a monster live streaming computer or like monster live streaming internet speeds. Restream takes care of all of that for you. So as long as you can stream onto one platform, then you have enough internet to stream onto all of these platforms. For today's tutorial, we're gonna live stream on Facebook Live, YouTube Events, and LinkedIn. Let's start by clicking on our Facebook Live profile. I'll click on this button here, and now I have the option to stream to my personal profile, a public page, 
or any of these groups. Keep in mind with Restream, you can stream to multiple pages and to multiple groups using your account. I'm gonna select my personal profile for today and click save. Now I'm gonna add my YouTube channel over here. And I'm gonna set up my YouTube using YouTube events. Now it's important to note that for streaming to your YouTube channel, you should only use YouTube events. Okay, so I'm gonna click that button right now and I'm gonna connect YouTube events. And then you'll run through a couple channel settings questions. Your server should be your primary YouTube server. For events, select create new. And then for your title, you can title your event here. We're gonna call this Zoom call the big meeting. Because you're big and your meetings are big. And category, we're going to put male exotic dancing. Just kidding. But probably education, how to in style or people and blogs will be your best bets. We're gonna click education. Then save your event. It's important to note that not everybody has access to live stream on LinkedIn. So walk through the process of connecting your LinkedIn. And if you don't have access, you can click apply now and apply for the LinkedIn live streaming program. Once all of your channels are set up, it will look something like this over here. Make sure they're all toggled on. On the right hand side of the page is where we're going to manage the live stream. And we're going to dig into this in just a quick second. But I want you to also note there's the navigation panel on the left hand side and a chat box here if you have any customer service questions. The Restream customer service team is incredibly responsive, so use that if you get stuck at all. Now that our channels are all set up and turned on, it's time to connect Restream to Zoom. The first thing you need to do is click onto RTMP settings so that this window pops up here. And here you'll see your RTMP URL or your stream URL and your stream key down here. Leave this window open. We're gonna come back to it in just a second. For now, I want you to open a new window and log in to your Zoom account. Click on my account, click on settings, click on in meeting advanced. Scroll down until you see the live stream settings down here. You'll notice it says allow live stream meetings. Click on custom live streaming service and click save. Now start your Zoom call. Boom, and here we are inside a Zoom meeting where I'm hanging out with my producer, Carlos. Hey everyone. And the next thing that we wanna do is hover to the lower right hand side where it says more. And now you're gonna click live on custom live streaming service. And when you do, a whole new window is gonna pop up. On this page here, you're gonna enter the stream URL and the stream key that we just uncovered in Restream. So go back over to Restream, copy your stream URL, and enter it here. Then copy your stream key and enter it here. And for live streaming URL, this is a really cool feature. And if you have a custom website page or a custom Bitly link, you can enter that here. So I'm gonna enter my website right here and click go live. Zoom will start to connect. Zoom will direct you back to the live stream URL you just entered. And inside your Zoom account, you can see that you're live streaming. So now let's come back into Restream and click done and you'll see your live stream window appear on the right hand side here. So hi everybody watching us. If you wanna leave a comment, please do. And now your Zoom call is live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn all at the same time. You can see how many people are viewing over here and you can monitor your stream on this side over here. I can also enter live studio here. And now I'm in the Restream live broadcast studio where I have even more features. For example, I can manage my chat options over here in the right hand side. Hey Jerry, hey Melissa. I also have a few other options here which you're welcome to play with. And the Restream live studio has a ton of cool features you can play with here and over on the side here. Pretty cool, huh? 
Now, when you're ready to end your stream, you're gonna do that from Zoom. So you'll come back into your Zoom call. What up? And you'll click on the end button down here. When you end the meeting for all, you'll see that the stream is no longer live on Restream and you've successfully restreamed your one Zoom call to multiple different platforms with the click of a button. And it's important to note that all the work that you did setting this up is now saved so you won't have to go through those steps every single time. All you have to do in the future is open up your Zoom call, live stream to restream, and the software takes care of the rest. Now, if you wanna learn more about live streaming and multicasting to grow your brand and increase your views, then watch this video next. It's a whole playlist of videos that go into different techniques and strategies. Pick on the one that you wanna learn from best. I'm Owen Video and I'll see you there.